I'm Dee, and today we share the love from the sports senior nights. Take a close look at some cultural influencers and hear who your celebrity crushes are. Dee and starts now. Good morning, Golden Eagles. I'm Nora Duenas. And I'm Mercy Calvo. With the season in full swing, it seems everyone is so busy. We have a lot happening right here on campus. We had a visit last week and hundreds of students were able to hear the speaker and his powerful message. Amia Johnson was there to capture the story. That's right. And our principal, Ms. Koda, met the Destroy Duchenne Ice Cup Challenge last Friday. Duchenne is a childhood form of ALS, shortening the lifespan to under 20 years old. Ms. Koda met Elijah Stacy, the team who started the Ice Cup Challenge, and was inspired to meet the challenge herself. Stacy modeled it after the Ice Bucket Challenge using only a cup since it is a disease that attacks children. Principal Koda challenged Superintendent Sandy Lyons, Painted Hills Principal Michael Granger, and Palm Springs High School Principal Brian Hendra. Thank you, Ms. Koda. Every year in February, we celebrate Black History Month. In Desert Hot Springs, our schools and community members collaborate to put together the Taste of Soul event taking place this year on February 22nd. If you've never attended, it's time that you did. There is entertainment, great music, and food. It's always a guaranteed good time for everyone, so come on out. In honor of Black History Month, GN will pay tribute to just a few of the African Americans who have had a remarkable influence on our culture. Although we respectfully honor Martin Luther King, Rosa Parks, and other historical legends for Black History Month, within the last decade there have been numerous influencers creating an impact on our culture. Here are a few icons that made a difference within the past year. Over the past couple of years, the fashion world has significantly changed, but it is no surprise since there are constantly new trends. 37-year-old Virgil Abloh, the founder of clothing brand Off-White, made history in late March of 2018 as the first black male to be Louis Vuitton's new menswear designer and artistic director. In his 2019 spring collection, he features children modeling his clothing, which is meant to embody the purity of infancy. This historic moment in fashion has made a drastic change to Abloh's career. Rihanna released her makeup line Fenty Beauty in September 2017, where she iconically changed the beauty industry with her inclusive and diverse variety of 40 foundation shades for every skin tone, so every woman of color can find their perfect match. Just recently, she added 10 more foundation shades. 34 out of the 50 of those shades were for women from medium skin tones to deep. Not only has she historically changed the beauty community, a few weeks ago, she announced that she, alongside with Virgil Abloh, will be the first black female designer for Louis Vuitton Moet Hennessy, also known as LVMH. Make sure you watch the next upcoming episode of GEN to see who our next influencer will be for Black History Month. Come join us February 22nd to celebrate Black History Month at the 4th Annual Taste of Soul event with performances by local musicians, dancers, and poets. There will also be food, festivities, presentations, and exhibits. Everyone in the Desert Hot Springs community is welcomed. Hope we can see you there. The event starts at 5.30 p.m. and concludes at 8.30 p.m. We didn't need their salvation. It was America who needed the black people's contribution. Roy Waters Jr. made a stop at Desert Hot Springs to talk to students on January 30th. While Waters is known as a motivational speaker, he is much more than that. Juarez's story is one of trauma, abuse, violence, and homelessness, but also resilience, determination, forgiveness, and triumph. With his feelings always close to the surface, Juarez recounts his stories for thousands of youth across the country. Here at DHSHS, students stood and listened in silence and awe as the air in the gymnasium thickened with emotion. His story made me feel like I want to be able to do something great with my life, and no matter like where I started from, I could advance further. Growing up in a community like Desert Hot Springs, we experienced a lot of similar situations. It was very valuable in the sense that you're at a breaking point and you feel like life is just throwing curveballs at you. You got to understand that there's people out there that have it worse than you. 
Juarez believes education can provide a way out of poverty or what he calls brokenness. It taught me to, to reflect, do a lot of introspection and figure out who I wanted to be and where I wanted to go and how was I going to own my own voice. And that's what education did. Although it was his story that moved students, the man behind the scenes, Jerry Arkovitz, who brought Juarez to school is no stranger to motivating youth. Arkovitz is the founder of the Jazzy Program for Student Athletes. The mission of the Jazzy Program is to how to become the best that you can be. DHS students are invited to join Arkovitz in the theater here on Wednesday mornings before school. At the end of the day, it was Juarez who captured the hearts of students and staff. It definitely opens my eyes as a person to hear about people like that. You never know who can be like at your school that's homeless. If I can just change one person and hopefully make their day, I think it'll make I think it'll make my day knowing that I was able to make someone happy. Guys, we need you to dream. What can you do to make someone's day? This is Amia Johnson reporting for G E N. What a story he had. It really was. It was an emotional morning that day. And now for a sports update. The winter sports have wrapped up with the girls' soccer team going to CIF for the first time in seven years. The boys' soccer played in CIF for their third year in a row and boys' basketball for the second year in a row. Congratulations, Golden Eagles. You make us proud. Now, let's take a look. Winter sports season is slowly coming to an end. The Lady Eagles soccer team celebrated their senior night playing against the Banning Broncos on Thursday, January 24th. The JV girls hosted a small ceremony for the seniors which ended up bringing tears to some of them. The Eagles won 4-0, placing them 4th in the league, sending them to CIF. I'm going to miss all the seniors and I'm so thankful that I was able to play with such amazing players. I love you guys and thank you for making these four years of high school one of the best. I'm going to miss you guys and it was great play, being able to play with you ladies and I love you all. Well, we made it this far guys, now graduation! I love you girls, you guys are going to do wonderful things. The Lady Eagles basketball team also celebrated their senior night playing against the Banning Broncos, however lost their night with the final score of 64-30. Despite the loss, the basketball girls feel that they have shown improvement with scoring more points in this game than in previous ones. My best moments is always on the bus rides. We always have a good times. We're always singing, we're always making jokes. Two of the biggest accomplishments this season we had were two wins. Although they were not league, we still got more wins than last year. This concludes your Lady Eagles basketball and soccer team seasons. Make sure to come out to support them next year. And a big shout out to the girls soccer team for winning their senior night against the Banning Broncos. I'm Pablo Cabrera reporting for G.E.N. Season's over, but CIF playoffs have begun for the boys soccer and basketball teams. On Thursday, January 31st, the Eagles celebrated their senior nights playing against the Indio Rajas. This win set the soccer team's league record to 11-2-1, which also placed them second in the Desert Valley League. Not only are the boys continuing on to CIF, but are also continuing their memories with their teammates. I just want to tell them that I'm proud because like the whole season we came up with the goal to go to CIF. My senior teammates, I'm going to miss you guys. We grew up together in freshman year, man. It was a success. We have a big, a long road to CIF and um, it doesn't end here. To achieve your future goals that you guys um, want to accomplish in the future and to never give up. It's sad leaving you guys because there's no other better team than you guys. The basketball team, on the other hand, did not have the same outcome. However, their league record was set to 10-4, placing them in third place for the Desert Valley League. And their celebration brought happiness to all their parents, especially their mothers. I just think that Nathan's a great kid. He's got a lot of talent and I know that he's going to go really far in life. We're proud of him. All his 13 sisters and brothers and his dad. And out there. <laughs> and I just want to let him know that everything he does, he's making his dad proud. Um, just keep up the good work and everything you do, you do it for your dad, you do it for yourself. And just keep working hard and never give up. And I just appreciate everybody's support because we were dealing with a lot this year, you know, losing my husband. And I just, I love this school and I love this kid. This concludes the Eagles Senior Night against the Indio Rajas. Make sure to wish them luck on their CIF journey. I'm Nora Daniels reporting for GEN. Wow, it was a pretty exciting week for sports, wasn't it? It really was.
So, when do the spring sports season start? They started conditioning and they began playing this month. We do love our Golden Eagles. While we're on the subject of love, let's take a look at who you love. Oh my god, oh my god, I feel the love. Everyone must feel what I'm feeling. Do you feel what I'm feeling? No, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the love. Love for you? And love for you. Why are you hiding? Love for you too. You can purchase a Valentine gram for your loved one for only two dollars. Show your love and get your Valentine grams by Wednesday at lunch in room 909. Two dollars for a rose. We went around campus and asked students and staff who their celebrity crush is. My celebrity crush is Danny DeVito. Jane Seymour. She is beautiful. That's my crush. Uh, Ariana Grande. My celebrity crush is Ariana Grande. Probably Cardi B. Lana Del Rey. Because she makes good music. And I cry to her music every day. Who's your celebrity crush? Kendall Jenner. Um, Tom Cruise. Leticia Buffoni, because she's good at skateboarding. Probably Selena Gomez. Angelina Jolie. Ronaldo, because he's my favorite soccer player. He's the best soccer player, too. And that's who we love. Up next, we have our USB president, Asia McAfee, with upcoming events. Asia, what's happening? Hey everyone, welcome back to GEN. My name is Asia McAfee. Today, February 8th, is our huge Eagles Got Talent rally, and we are wearing blue and gold. And for lunch, we'll be having a huge academy and club rush to showcase the best of DHS. And if you miss out on our talent show, you'll be sure to see the class dances, first, second, and third place winners. Seniors, please start uploading your photos at www.dhshsseniors.com. Also, don't forget to follow the senior Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook account, all at DHSHS19 for up-to-date news and events. Quick reminders, last day to pay off your senior package is February 25th, and the big semester two senior meeting is February 19th at lunch in the theater. As a reminder, teachers and security will be checking for IDs again. If you don't have an ID, head over to the library to go get one. Students, head over to room 309 for free clothes. There are hoodies, dress-up shirts, t-shirts, shoes, and pants, and more. Yes, it's free for students in need, so head over to room 309. All students are welcome to the Jossie program. If interested, please report Wednesday mornings at a.m. to the theater. February is nationally recognized as Black History Month, so don't forget to head over to the Taste of Saliva on the 22nd from 5 to 8 p.m. There are sure to be great food and events. Don't forget to wish all of the sports teams best of luck as they reach CIF. And that's what's happening this week. See you later, Nora Mercy. Thank you, Asia. That's it for this week, Eagles. In two weeks, we have some new segments you won't want to miss. Thanks for joining us, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for our Golden Eagle Network so you don't miss any episodes. I'm Nora Dines. And I'm Mercy Cabo, and we're signing out for D-E-N.